Hey everyone, so in our test lab, we spent a lot of time conducting hands-on reviews of sleep products. And over the years, it goes without saying, but I think we've identified a few of our favorites. So I thought I would invite four members of our test lab team into the studio to share some of their most favorite pillows. Hey guys, welcome. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Do we have strong opinions about pillows? We sure do. Yeah. So this is the Talalay Latex pillow from Brooklyn Bedding. This is actually my pillow from home. It's got an organic cotton cover, but they've recently switched it out for a tensile cover. Both will be great for hot sleepers and both are removable and easy to care for. But the core is still the same. It's got ventilated latex, which um, is really also great for hot sleepers. As you can see, it's very responsive and springy. As a side sleeper, I find that it holds my head up perfectly throughout the course of the night. You don't have to fluff it. It's very easy to move around on, which is nice. You don't have to like scrunch it into position like you might with a down pillow. But it's got a really nice cover here of organic cotton, and that combined with the ventilated latex really helps promote airflow and keep you from overheating over the course of the night, which is really important to me as somebody who runs hot. But when I put my head on this pillow, it just, it stays there. Like it, it just, it compresses just a little bit, but you don't sink way in. Compared to similar models, the pillow is actually pretty affordably priced. You can expect to pay anywhere from 60 to $100, depending on the size. It's just soft too, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's uh, if your pillowcase comes up in the middle of the night, you happen to have your face on that. It's Not the worst thing in the world. Today, I brought in the Sheik's Infinite Zen pillow. Overall, I mean, I just, I just love it for a bunch of reasons. It's about five inches, uh, solid memory foam block. It is ventilated. Uh, it's also gel infused. As a hot sleeper, I typically avoid memory foam, especially solid memory foam, because it just heat builds up like crazy. With this guy, uh, that ventilation really just goes a long way. The cover too, it's like this holly blend, you know, it's really stretchy, it's really smooth, it's really shiny. Not the best about stretching, so I end up with neck pain, you know, probably at least once a week. This guy, even though it's memory foam, it's it's kind of, it lets me sink in, but just to like a good degree, basically. Price-wise, usually somewhere around the $100 range, uh, give or take, due to sales, stuff like that. About what I would expect for, you know, the quality that you're getting here. With this, you know, it's, you feel that resistance kind of right away, but it's, it's kind of like you're slowly falling into this just like this i don't know like this comfort i wouldn't say it's like a cloud because i feel like that's kind of a cliche marshmallow like, <laughs> like a marshmallow you would see in a cartoon like it's got some oomph behind it it really just bends and adapts around you it's just comfy yep. it's just huggy this is the marlow pillow this is the pillow to pick before you start working at a company like this which is to say this is the pillow you want if you don't want to think about your pillow if you're like ah oh, man my pillow is just not working for me this is this is the pick it's made from a 100 percent cotton shell and then inside memory foam and a polyester blend on the side it has these zippers and when you unzip it it exposes these gussets there's zippers on this side as well inside let me do this very gently because we cut this open is a blend as i said of memory foam and polyester you can modify these zippers if you unzip it fully like this you have a plusher pillow if you unzip just one side you can have a medium pillow see where i'm headed and then if you zip both sides it's a firmer pillow so just by zipping it you get a ton of versatility it is available in a standard size or a king size but the best part for a standard size 65 dollars and for a king size 85 dollars i love this because as i said if you're somebody who's like i don't know i guess i just need a new pillow good entry level basic pick here you know what i mean it's gonna be something that you can kind of mold as i said to your neck i kind of like that feeling or if you want it softer unzip your pillow make it softer this is my one of my favorite pillows it's the uh, side sleeper from eline elm for a side sleeper it, it provides that space for your head and your neck and your shoulders to fit it's got a shoulder cutout that's perfect for contouring for your neck pretty active in reducing that neck pain, shoulder pain that some folks might be experiencing. The interior fill here is a latex uh, mixed with a polyester or a down alternative, which you can see here. So there's pieces of shredded latex that are blended with a, this poly fill. 
It makes for a really nice, supportive, responsive feel yeah. that's also contouring and soft enough for you know uh, that, that good give in your head. You can add more fill, which Eline M will sell you as well. I also love the fact that in addition to selling you more fill, they will sell you a pillowcase that is exactly that shape too. Adds to that aesthetic. Yeah. This is a pillow all about function, not beauty. It's not a looker, um, but it is very comfortable. I've been sleeping on this for uh, over a year now. I stand by it as a exclusive side sleeper. The price on this is, is between $130 to $150. You get what you pay for here. You get something that's durable, that will last, and also is incredibly comfortable. One of my favorite pillows is the Sattva Latex Pillow. So inside this pillow, you have shredded latex uh, and down alternative. I think that's a really cool combination. You get all the benefits of latex. That includes good temperature regulation, uh, a sort of responsive feel. You also get that plush hotel feel that you get from down or down alternative. Uh, a lot of people like that a lot. So I think they work really well together. But there's a little bit of a bounce to it. Uh, that's definitely from the latex. Latex is very responsive, unlike foam, which kind of sticks and takes a while to respond. Again, it has that hotel-like feel from the down alternative. It feels very fresh and clean. Pillows around 160 to 180 dollars. That's pretty standard given it's uh, mostly made of latex. Latex tends to be pretty durable, so this pillow should last around three years, which is a little above average for uh, pillows. You don't really need a pillowcase with this because you could remove the cover uh, and wash it. There's a lot of kind of weird cover materials on pillows these days that I don't love, but this just feels like a pillowcase. Well, my thanks to all of you for your very strong pillow opinions. Did you know coming in today that you were going to have to offer such strong opinions about pillows and pillow shapes? I'm always ready to just, you know, give my opinions on pillow shapes. <laughs> That's what we do here, Tom. For more information on each of these pillows, including updated discounts on each of the ones that we talked about, check out the description below. And of course, for more in-depth reviews of some of the best pillows of the year, visit sleepfoundation.org. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. Sleep well. <laughs>